back at Rice Trailers. Josh Rice, always good to see you, man. We love coming out here every year to see the growth and the expansion and all the changes and everything that you guys have going on here, man. It's awesome. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, since you come here the first time, and you know, it's it's been just, it's been awesome, man. You guys have done a hell of a job for us. And you know, this year has been one of our most prosperous years yet. That's cool. So, That's what we like to see, yeah. you know? So back behind us here, Right, some of your more popular for sure. So got. this is our three most popular lines, model lines of trailers, and I wanted to kind of get it out here because you've seen the way they're built. Yeah, we've been. You through know, that. you've seen all that process. So what I want to kind of do is show you kind of what the end end consumers getting, and kind of a few things about them that make us unique. So what we've got here, this is a fourteen thousand pound GVR trailer. So this is what you're going to haul bobcat, skid steer, stuff like that on. Right. So it's got the the uh, toolbox, which every single one of our trailers has this. Yep. This is a removable toolbox. So and this is built with a robot. But this is a six-inch channel construction trailer, uh, full wrap tongue, six-inch channel frame. But this is your standard equipment. So you know we've got the the solid front on it. We've got the uh, hard fenders on it. So and. Uh, Obviously, 10 ply radial tires, 14,000 to 7,000 pound axles. We come back here, steel tread on the dovetail, and then we've got a uh, fold up equipment ramp. And just do me a favor, man, pick that thing up. See how heavy this it is. One? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nothing. That's nothing. tough. Nothing. So they're spring assisted, everything's spring assisted. I'm deceptively strong. Oh, I, well, I know. There's, there's I, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. We're coming around here to the back. Everything's tucked in. All of our lights are grommet mounted, sealed. Everything's sealed here. That's one thing I like, dude. When it's all plugged in, there's lights everywhere. Right, and that's great. that's one great thing about our trailers. So this is our most common single axle trailer that we manufacture. So this is what everybody loves. What are they using this one for? Okay, most of the people are lawn mowers, UTVs, ATVs, stuff like that. Right. Yeah. So it's a smaller, 3,500 pound axle on this one. All right. But what we've got. And what we see a lot of people doing, as you can see on this, we've got a few color options on this. And we do this on all of our models. But see, this is a white with a blackout package, is what we call it. Sure. So you got the black lid, black stickers, you got black wheels, black everything. We kind of murder it out for people. And, and uh, we see that as, as, a, as a growing thing, a growing trend, because everybody kind of wants, you know, you got a, you got a nice 20, maybe $30,000 side, side by side on yeah. there, you know. And, that's one of the most common things you see going down the road. See these nice side by sides going down the road. There's a bunch of them going down there today. Yeah. You've got to coordinate the outfit, right? And a $250 trailer behind it. Hey, <laughs> right. You know, right. come on. Right. Here's a few things that we do. You know, obviously the the uh, the gate latches on these. Yeah. These are uh, these are five eighths rod. Right. So used to they used to be half inch and we bend them because people would put mattresses up against their drop oh, gates. Oh sure. Yeah. 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 So. What I want you to do on this, okay, so the ramp was pretty pretty light. Yeah. Okay, you can imagine how heavy this gate would be. Go ahead, be. go ahead and pick it up. All right. See if you can. Oh. But oh man, you forget about that deceptively. Man, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'm just oh, gonna yeah. sit. I'm gonna sit here a while. Give yeah. me a pump going. Yeah, so you can you can totally get that yeah, up. Yeah, you got a little help over here. Oh nice. yeah. Yeah, so that's Very a, cool. uh, those are add-ons. These are th things that we try to do like this. This is something that somebody can even buy and they can add it on themselves or it can be a dealer option that, that your dealer can put on or we'll do it right here at the factory if it's ordered with it. One more. All right. So we kind of went big, small. We're yeah. gonna go medium here. Okay. So yeah. This I was gonna is, say this looks a lot like the first one. Okay. And, and and let me hit on this. This is what we call a car hauler. Okay. Okay. Traditionally, this is what we call a car hauler, and this still has the same. This is a five-inch channel construction. So five-inch channel frame, five-inch channel tongue wrap all the way back. 16-inch center cross members, still the same. But we just dial everything down, make it a little lighter, so you can still haul it with a half ton. You can still pull okay. it. You know, and uh, got double brakes. Radial tires, everything, everything that you need. I mean, we don't, we don't, we don't back off in quality on anything. Right. right. So, uh, so what this thing has, same as the other one, only though the difference is the ramps just slide out the back. So if you got a car that hangs over or whatever, okay, you can slide your ramps in and yep. set up. Okay. So uh, same, same wire harness, same everything on this unit here. Very and, cool. Yeah. And these are the ones that you guys are just stamping them out. Just yeah. Yeah. You make. built one of these. 
here last time. I did, I thought yeah. it looked familiar. Mm -hmm. Again, I did a great job. I don't think this is the one, but. No, I don't know where that one ended up. Yeah, we probably only built like four or five. You probably marked that one way up. You're like, oh, I'm just going to uh, yeah. serious. Yeah, we should have the autograph. <laughs> Josh, that's what I love about coming out here every year is, you know, we become friends with you and the whole team and everything. It's not only is it good to see everybody, but it's good to catch up on the growth and the expansion. It's cool to see good people doing good things, man. That's what yeah. I love about it. So, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So as a reminder, you know, all of these were built as a base with the robot, you know. So that's, you get the precision factor. You get everything that's great about that, right? you know. So. I think, though, sometimes people hear the word robot, and it, it almost goes negative, right? They're thinking, oh, a robot's going to take the jobs that a human being can do, but it's the exact opposite here. With you. Yeah, you get a lot of negative, negative on that, but no, absolutely not. You know, what we've had to do since we've added all of this, we've had to add so many new jobs here to keep up with the production. We've put a whole new assembly line in yeah. and everything. Yeah, I mean, you guys are constantly putting up new buildings. So right. I think you're disproving any kind of theory on that. So oh, definitely. Great job. All right, so I love it, right? I, I love the whole manufacturing thing, but beyond the, the scope of just the initial robot thing, then it goes in there, then you've got the humans doing all the other oh, ones. Yeah. So kind oh, of, yeah. We've walked through that a little bit, but remind me a little bit of what goes on after Yeah, that. so what we do now is, is is uh, we'll bring them in after the robot takes care of them, does its job, and then we've got the humans finishing them up. All the welders, the tradesmen out there, they're 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 finishing it up out there, and that's the that's the final final process of it. So, is it 100% robotically built? No, no. We still got guys out there doing it, you know. Right. But it speeds the process. Up. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, I love it. I, it's so cool. Weather's great. We're out here, but can I be honest with one thing? Well, I man, yeah, sure. I, Go ahead. No, dude, I, I, I'm a little disappointed. It's not a big deal. It's me. It's not you. It's me. Okay. Because right. like last time, I got to build one, right? right? I mean, I was in there working with the robots and hitting buttons and everything. I felt a little bit more important. Yeah. I haven't even gotten to build anything yet this week, so I don't know. Don't worry about me, though, dude. Oh, don't worry. You just spoke too soon. Really? We're going to go build some trailers. Come right. on. Me? Yeah, come on. I get to build? Let's go. Yeah. Ah, it worked. My favorite part, dude. dude. Love it, love it. <laughs> I hope you've been practicing. I have, dude. I've been stretching right. and everything. All right. So lift and touch, right? Lift and touch, uh, baby. That's all you got to uh, do. And we're off. And we're off. 